Hi, I'm Kurt Granroth. In today's episode of Granworks, I'm going to fill a bucket with sand and oil. <laughs> Seriously. All right, I better explain this. So about a year ago or a little bit more than a year ago, I had a video on sharpening shovels. Um, link there, link in the doobly-doo, probably a link at the end of the video as well. Um, and in it, I talked about how to maintain it after you sharpened it. And at the time, what I recommended was using a product like this, which is this rust inhibitor from Rust-Oleum. That's actually not the best way to do it though. Since then, I've done some reading and I got some suggestions that really the best way to do it is to literally plunge the tool into a bucket of sand that's impregnated with oil. So I figured I have to give it a try. There's only three parts to this. There's a bucket, sand, and oil. Now I have a five gallon bucket here that I got from Home Depot for a couple dollars. Um, and a 60 pound bag of general purpose sand. The 60 pound bag fits almost perfectly in here. It's like they were made for each other. And then just a quart of oil. And it really doesn't matter the viscosity or anything like that. None of that matters. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about the oil in a bit. This is, this is all for a five gallon setup. Uh, you can make this bigger or smaller if you want. In fact, um, half of this would probably be fine. Uh, it's just that I don't really have a half a size of this. They would use half as much of the sand and half as much as the oil. I'm going to start by pouring roughly half of this sand into this bucket. You could actually fill it up all the way but I found that it takes a very long time for the oil to get through all the way down if it's fully full. So you put a little bit in it first and just pour like half of a quart in there. Obviously I'm using a five quart one here to actually do it because, well, I have it. That definitely takes a while to soak in. Um, this will probably take, I'm not even sure, an hour to soak. In the meantime, I'm going to put the rest of this in there. Okay, and now for the rest of the court. Make sure I have my thing on the side here. All right, there we go. All right, so how well does this actually work in the real world? Well, let's see. This right here is a shovel that we used about a month ago. Um, what we did is we just used it like normal and then we plunged about half of it into a bucket with the sand and the oil and the other half we left exposed. And by exposed, I mean we literally actually kept this inside or underneath the patio so it wasn't getting wet at all after we used it yet well <laughs> it ain't subtle is it i mean <laughs> you can see the part where it was protected with the oil you can see the part where it wasn't it's it works very very well all right for testing purposes let's use this pre-saturated bucket that i created about a month ago and has been in use since then because our bucket that we just created is going to stay, take a while still to fully saturate. So we'll first see, can we actually clean up this rust on here? Let's give this a try. That is one issue that I ran into, which is the shovels don't want to go in all the way. Maybe if I filled them a little bit higher, they would, but uh, I'm not sure. Let's 
try this one, which is more of a, I guess, classic, just kind of exposed. gone and this will not rust now. One thing you're going to want to consider when you actually build one of these buckets, if you do do the five gallon bucket with a 60 pound bag, well it weighs 60 pounds. And these, <clears throat> these aren't all that easy to haul around when they weigh 60 pounds. So your best bet is to just build it where you're gonna use it and just leave it there. Or do what I just did, haul it around in a wheelbarrow. It's not like they're that, that heavy, but these buckets don't like being lifted when they weigh 60 pounds. I'm using regular time-honored petroleum-based motor oil for this, but that's not the only choice. Really, any oil will do. Some people prefer to use mineral oil, even though it's quite a bit more expensive. I've also heard of using vegetable oil, but that runs the risk of going rancid. I'm not convinced of the various reasons for using motor oil alternatives, though. What I typically hear is that you wouldn't want to use a tool protected by this oil in a garden or around any plant that you might eat. But I haven't really seen any evidence that the tiny amount of oil on the tool will make any difference whatsoever to anything planted in the soil dug up by the tool. And well, farmers have been using this since their grandfathers and grandfathers fathers first used it. But in the end, choice is yours. Most of the tools that we clean and protect with this are stored elsewhere, but for convenience we do store our two primary shovels in the bucket itself. And thanks for watching.